Hello, I'm Ebenezer Obausi and welcome to my very first Oswald Dev video tutorial, course 100 titled Introduction to Oswald. In this brief video tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the Oswald open source software, a community software that allows you to create your own social network, not just limited to social network, um, any community project like a family website, a company, um, friends, connection websites or whatever in that line or probably even a dating website actually um, one of the most popular dating software Skydates is powered by Oswald or actually owned by the same um, owner Skype. Okay so um, I'm going to talk about the introduction to Oswald, uh, we'll talk about the Oswald plugins, extensions that you need to extend the functionality of Oswald. I will show you how to install Oswald on your local host. I uh, will also show you how to clear catch <clears throat> on your Oswald platform. So um, I will start by briefing you a little bit about the Oswald developer website. So this is the Oswald developer website is can be accessed on developers.oswald.com um, it's basically a hub for developers you can see the forum section where you be able to post topics get answers reply to others and uh, that and there is also the store the um, documentations and and all that so um as you can see from the description here, also is unbelievable, flexible, and easy to use. PHP, MySQL, social networking software platform. Um, it's it's I I I don't have the time. I could show you a lot of projects that that I've used to use well software for, but it's ranging from dating networks to um, collaboration tools to project management system, even e-commerce sites. I mean, Oswald can do anything you want to do with a normal framework. And sometimes I even prepare it over Laravel or something because it has a whole lot of things built in that you will come to learn as a developer. So um, <clears throat> let's move straight to installing Oswald on your on your local server. The objective of this um, this tutorial is to show you how to set up your own development environment for Oswald. So the first step is to download the latest version of Oswald, which is Oswald Common 1.8 for released July 26, 2016, a long time ago, by the way. So we just proceed to download this, this zip copy. Um, you can save it on your download folder, like like I did, I did here. Okay, so you extract the content to um, a folder you have already created in your local hosts directory okay as you can see this is stored in I'm using a Mac a MacBook Mac OS um, you can see library web server documents public HTML div demo okay so whatever folder you created you copy you extract the zip content here to to that folder this is exactly what I have I have done here okay so the next step is to create a database for for your Oswald website, so you need to head on to your local host PHP my admin. Yeah, you might down right there. Uh, okay, you log in if if you have a password set. You then proceed to database create database. I'm going to create um, Oswald demo, and there it is. So uh, the next step is I'm going to begin installing also. So to do that, I would I would go to localhost slash dev um, slash dev directory I have created. So that will be demo. This will automatically take me to the installation um, portal. So I'm going to call this demo as well uh, let's call it as well div okay 
Uh, I'm going to call it testing. Also, the demo. Okay, and uh, admin, let's say hello. Let's say product from username. I'm going to say demo password. I'm going to use pass. Next, I'm going to configure my database. So localhost, um, user, Oswald, password, Oswald, Oswald demo. Okay, we'll prefix, I'm going to leave it this way. Okay, so uh, I am, I'm having this because um, basically uh, my my system does not allow us to modify files, so I would have to copy this directly to my to my password configuration. So I head on to my password selection parts, open password include. Then I'm going to copy this to to this folder. So I will highlight everything here and replace it with this. Okay. So that is it. When I'm done, I just click continue. Okay, so next I will the installation process is successful. I will have to I'll remove the Oswald install folder for security uh, purposes. So I'll go back to my Oswald installation part. Uh, I will remove the Oswald install folder. On Linux, could on Mac you could uh, press Command Delete on Windows. Just press the Delete. Key. Okay, so now it is gone. I just have to refresh, refresh this page. So this is taking unusually slow, probably because um, you know. So installation is complete. So um, you can go to the main page or you could go to the admin area, but whichever section or area you choose to land, the installation is complete. So the next thing I'm going to uh, talk about is, is the Oswald plugins. So the plugins basically let you add third party plugins to extend the functionality of your Oswald. Um, say you want to add the ability to say you want to add the ability to manage blogs or something you could just download any of the plugins you would want to use on your website store them on your website and and that is it so usually your plugins can be found from this let's place the admin dashboard you head on to plugins. Head on to plugins. And these are your installed plugins. If you need to activate an already installed plug uploaded plugin, you go right to the available plugins and you install. If you need to add a new plugin, you upload the plugin zip file and you hit upload key. So um, in, in 
subsequent videos i'm going to talk about how to develop your own custom plugins um, but for now i want us to install um, the catch cleaner plugin and we are going to do it manually anyway so i just go straight to the oswald store i will search for catch cleaner Okay, so I will download this plugin. Okay, save. Plugin downloaded. So it can be found in downloads. So what I would do is that I would I would copy this plugin. I will copy this plugin to my Oswald plugin folder. Okay, this is the manual way of installing plugins. Okay. Um, sorry, I need to sort it a little bit too. Okay, great. So what I have done is that I have copied the downloaded copy of, of this plugin, actually the, the content of the zip the Oswald plugin folder so I have added this plugin to my Oswald website but it is not yet installed so to install it I would have to go to available plugins and there is it clutch cleaner okay so a little more about Oswald before I dive into catch cleaner um, you can notice there is the Oswald core the Oswald Chrome the Oswald includes also libraries, also log, also plugin files, also plugins, also smart seed, also static, also system plugin, also teams, also unit tests, also updates, also user files, also utilities. These are the basic core folders of Oswald. Okay, the Oswald core contains all the core classes for Oswald. The cron contains the cron job um, script. The include is the basic configuration and uh, the initialization of the application. The libraries include third-party libraries and um, the log is where your logs are stored and the plugin files is where plugin files are stored and um, the plugins contains where you, where you upload your plugins to, where your plugins are stored, your third-party plugins. Then this smart template, okay, stores um sorry the smarty folder uh stores the compiled smarty templates for your website so what oswald does is that uh, actually what the smarty engine does is that it compiles um it compiles a, a simple template for your for your website and uh, instead of having to compile each time your website is running is loaded from this this template so not only the template is compiled, the uh, um, static files such as uh, images and um, CSS and JavaScript are also cached and loaded from the static static files. So this is what happens um, during a small smart compilation. So. Um, Usually, if if your dev mode, development mode is off, compilation does not take place. So, it is usually off, which is false. This is the development mode. So, but if it is turned on, you are telling us what to recompile the smart templates and regenerate static files. Okay, and it takes a lot of time, so you want to keep it off. Now, but if you do not want to keep toggling from developer's mode on and off, you could simply use the catch cleaner plugin we have we have installed earlier. If you noticed, um, let's open the catch cleaner settings. You would notice that it has the option to clear template catch, backend catch, team static content, and plugin static content. So this plugin basically allows you to to clear the catch without you having to enable dev mode here. Okay. So that that is that for 
for catch cleaner um, if you have any question or anything you would like to discuss about this you could send me a message or you leave um, comments in this section I would try my best to get back to you and you should also bear in mind that this is my first video tutorial is a little bit rusty I'm still getting used to the whole stuff and hopefully the subsequent ones will be better than this all right so do have a nice day and let me know if you need anything have a great day